Hey guys. I got a package in the mail. It is uh, winter here in middle of nowhere Alaska where the Arctic Dungeon Master plays his D&D game. And uh, because of that, I might have some extra animals inside the house. Some ornamental chickens and then some quackers. Anyhow, they are neither here nor there. So they'll just be a little loud. Mainly what I want to talk about today is what's in this box. I was recently uh, introduced to uh, Game Night Games and they do uh, on-demand 3D resin printing and uh, filament printing as well. Uh, the filament printing they do for uh, terrain and buildings and such and they mainly use resin for uh, minis. What I have here is a um, uh, dragon mini, and uh, I, I I ordered some bases so I can base some of my non-based uh, minis that I got very very cheaply, and then I found out they don't have bases. Actually, I bought some of the com I bought commoners, two packages of commoners because they didn't have bases. Or they were pre-painted, yeah. Anyhow, I'm uh, gonna open this up and we'll take a look at this stuff. Because of this delicate Cargo, I decided to go with the smaller knife this time. Uh, I've got to say, the extra bubble wrap was very, very nice, especially since the item was coming up to Alaska. Alright, so what is this? Oh, these are the, the bases. to get some close-ups and show these to you guys but they are they are sweet I'm gonna have to do some some close-ups of these guys I'm sure you all will appreciate them I ordered 10 10 is not a greedy number 10 is a good number what is this And this has to be part of the dragon. Okay, so there will definitely be some uh, building to this, <coughs> which is good. That means my plan of making a video Quackers. Uh, my plans of making a video of putting this together will work. I think. Oh boy. So I don't know if you can see this. I think my light may, might be a little too bright. Let me just adjust real quick. Okay. 
the details it's just amazing you can kind of see the uh, glue line but I can easily cover that up with paint not that I'm the world's greatest painter uh, but I, I, I am working on it uh, check out my middle my little shambling uh, if you guys remember this from the uh, oh chaos in the countryside uh, dungeon in the box video uh, this is what the shambling looks uh, with the base coat I got two base coats on here so far and I think he looks great. Can't wait. Oh, and I dry brushed some brown, light brown on him too. I'm getting ready to paint some green onto him. Oh yeah. These wings look awesome. Oh well. I'm actually afraid to put this together. Wow. Wow, I really, really cannot wait to put this guy together. Which, that will be a completely, completely different video. Uh, I'm just unboxing this today. Uh, the next video that I make with this guy is totally going to uh, involve putting it together. <clears throat> I believe this is the base, which is uh, epic in its own little light. Oh yeah. This is the base for the uh, dragon. Simply amazing. I might even base this on a base base. Not entirely sure. Hmm, another base. So I guess since I'm not putting this together right away, because I didn't get to open this until it was really, really late, I gotta say the detail on these things are awesome. I've uh, gotten resin printed minis before um, from Mystic Worlds. Uh, I'll put a link below there if you wanna watch that video, um, which is cool. Um, but I've never gotten anything specifically like like you can get this same dragon you can order it you can even order it through game night games uh, it's completely up to you uh, but uh, he printed this dragon specifically because I asked for it um, and uh, he was highly recommended by someone else, a good friend of mine. Um, so I was like, oh, all right. Um, whereas uh, Mystic Worlds prints a whole bunch of minis uh, and you kind of get a subscription or you can go through their catalog on their website of uh, leftover minis and whatnot. Uh, whereas Game Night Games specifically does on-demand printing. And uh, that's the main key difference. Um, so you don't get the bases with each order. That's just something that I saw he did and I was like, ooh, I need bases and, uh, so yeah. And that's that. Um, I mean, comparatively... Uh, the body looks to be um, the same uh, portion as my, uh, let's say, WizKids dragons, or uh, even the the uh, 
collection of uh, cheap uh, dragons that are really a knockoff of uh, Jurassic Park dinosaurs. They're, uh, instead of dinosaurs, they're dragons, but the lettering is all Jurassic Parky. Um, this is even in proportion to those two. And this is slightly smaller, but the wingspan is definitely on par with those. And it might even be a little bigger than my uh, my uh, red dragon over there. But body-wise, the two look to be proportional. But, you know, it's really hard to tell without this thing put together. So that would be a completely different video right now I just wanted to open it look at everything just marvel at the detail I mean yeah it would totally be a shame to print this or not print but to paint this uh, just because I'm not that good of a painter and I don't want some of this detail to just disappear. It's, it's, it's amazing. I love the quality of printed minis. Um, I was blown away with Mystic Worlds. I was, I'm blown away with Game Night Games. Um, there's just a level of detail that you get that is not in the mass produce. Whiz Kids and Reaper Bones. I hate to say it, but they're, they just lack so detail. Now, of course, uh, this is totally not going to be a mini that I'll let my kids touch. <laughs> you know? Um, whereas an unpainted uh, Reaper Bones, uh, yeah, until it gets painted, they can touch those. Um, the pre painted Whiz Kids they can touch but uh, as soon as these guys get painted especially this guy before being painted no yeah. <coughs> the detail anyway, I'm rambling now but I just wanted to uh, do this video of this unboxing and uh, I'm gonna tell Game Night Games that this dragon looks phenomenal and I cannot wait to put it together this weekend. So that's totally what I'm gonna be doing is putting together this dragon. Um, yeah, but that's gonna be a completely different video where I'll be talking about my plan of dragons and all that jazz. So uh, if you are definitely interested or you wanna see the progress of this, definitely subscribe to this channel hit the like button. If you are interested in Game Night Games, I will uh, drop a link or something below so that you can get a hold of them and just see what they have to offer you. Uh, in the meantime, hit like, subscribe, comment. Hey, what do you guys think about the uh, 3D printing? How is it changing your D&D &D game? Let me know in the comments and I'll get back with you.